and Texas Congressman Mac Thornberry. He is the chairman of the House Armed Services Committee. Mr. Chairman, thank you for being here this morning. Sure. Do you agree with the president that North Korea is sincere with these renewed push for talks? Oh, I'm sure they're sincere in wanting talks so that they can get sanctions eased. But if you look at it over the past several decades, North Korea has really played us like a fiddle. They will do a test or escalate some crisis, and then they'll agree to back off a little bit in exchange for relaxing sanctions or some talks or something. So you've had a series of ups and downs over the years, but at the end of the day, they been able to develop intercontinental ballistic missiles, nuclear weapons, that and uh, a threat to our homeland. So they'll go up and down, but at the end of the day, they get what they want. So will these talks eventually happen? The, the president did not go into any further detail about any preconditions for those talks to actually happen or, or the dialogue to open. What what should be those conditions um, if there was, this was to actually happen? Well, I think the key thing is we need to be clear-eyed going into them because North Korea is trying to divide us from our allies in South Korea. They are trying to get sanctions eased or at least make sure there's not new sanctions applied, and they're trying to weaken our resolve to stand up to them. So make them uh, put put it on the table as far as exactly what they will do and make them do it. Don't ease sanctions uh, just so that they will come to the table and start talking. That's the tactic they've used over the years to great effect. It's interesting because the president seems to be taking a bit of a, a victory lap, although he seems to be somewhat cautious with saying things like North Korea seems to be acting positively. But he seems to be saying that these harsh sanctions are working and he's even going as far as to say he's doing more than his predecessors any other president before him on on combating North Korea would you agree with that well I agree that these are the harshest sanctions we have seen I'm not sure they're harsh enough uh, to get the change that we need in North Korea the other thing that's really changed is we have put significant missile defense and other things in that area so standing up to North Korea militarily is the thing that sends them the clearest mm -hmm. message of all so the president's walking a tight line he's got to be open to talks but none of us should be uh, deluded into thinking that these people have suddenly changed their stripes. Interesting. We'll see where that goes. Um, meanwhile, you spoke at a hearing yesterday uh, regarding the, um, the, the national security challenges that we face as a nation. And you were really specific in that hearing talking about the growing threat of ISIS in Africa. Watch this exchange. Why should we care? What is it about Africa, what are the, the national security interests that the United States has in your area of responsibility? The violent extremist organizations that I described at the outset. They, are, they permeate the entire continent. Our efforts to build capacity inside the continent is to ensure that those violent extremist organizations who wish harm in the region, wish harm on the European continent, and ultimately wish harm in the United States, they are contained. Mr. Chairman, you are clearly, and you did in that hearing, you're raising the alarm of the growing threat of ISIS in Africa. Why? Well, if you look more broadly, we have to pay attention to Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, all of those threats. But the threat from terrorism has not gone away. And what's happened as we have squeezed ISIS down in Iraq and Syria, some of those terrorists have squirted out to other, other places. And they go to places where there's not much governments, there, the governance, there's big wide open spaces, you know, poor economies, and that's Africa. So if you look in the east, you've got Al-Shabaab, you've got Al-Qaeda in the west part of Africa, you've got Boko Haram, you know, that kidnaps all these girls. There are terrorist threats all over Africa. What we're trying to do is work Work with those countries to take care of their own problem, but it is something we can't lose sight of, the, of even as we're dealing with North Korea and all these other problems. Chairman Mac Thornberry uh, joining us on a, on a busy news morning. Always good to have you on the program, sir. Thanks for being here. Thank you, ma'am.